Hi everyone and welcome back to Upside on Disney. If you're new here, my name is Jess and on this channel we talk about all things fandom related from Disney to Stranger Things and so much more. So if any of those things interest you then I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can come get stuck in the Upside Down with me again soon. So today I have for you guys a Shop Disney and Disney Store haul. Disney recently did their friends and family sale um, where almost everything in the store and online was 25% off. Um, so I made a, a couple of purchases, just a couple though. <laughs> so I am so excited to go ahead and share those with you guys. Um, so first up, we are going to start with the things that I bought from the Disney store. So there were a few things that I saw in the Disney store when I was in there the last couple of times and I knew that the sale was coming up so I decided to just hold off and wait for the sale in order to purchase them. Um, so yeah, I am going to show them to you guys right now. So first thing I got is this adorable Minnie Mouse dress. It's kind of like a t-shirt dress. Um, it's made of more of like a sweatshirt material. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's like a very thick like sweatshirt material. Um, so it'll be super cozy and nice for like transitioning into the spring weather. But it's just Minnie Mouse and this all over print of this floral pattern. Um, and I just thought that it was so adorable and so simple and cute. Um, and I'm so excited to wear this when the weather starts getting a little bit warmer. And this is book adorable with just some like Vans or Converse or something. Um, yeah, so you will probably see me on my Instagram um, in the near future rocking this dress. Uh, link will be down below for my Instagram. Um, if you want to follow me, um, you can also just search for me um, at Upside Down Disney um, on Instagram. Um, I usually post whenever I upload a video um, and then hopefully I'll start posting some like Disney books um, kind of soon. Next things that I got were um, just a couple of pin sets. The first one here is the Jack and Sally um pin set this was the valentine's day releases at the disney store um i honestly wanted like all of them um but i just decided to go with the jack and sally pins um and i think that they are so adorable you have jack there kneeling down removing his head and you have sally um and yeah i just loved this pin set um they also had a carl and ellie one that i was like so tempted to get just because it was so cute um but i don't have an up pin collection and i really was like don't start collecting up pins because that is just a rabbit hole that you don't need to go down jess so i just got nightmare before christmas because that fit with my collections the best and then the next pin set that i got is from the disney eats collection um that's their new kind of line for the spring um, and it features all kinds of different like mini and Mickey shaped sweets and desserts. Um, so this pin set featured two Mickey macarons, a Mickey ice cream, um, and then a ice cream truck with Mickey and Minnie. So this set kind of reminds me of the collection that they did last year, which was also kind of like a sweets themed. Um, I got a pillow from that set, um, and that like I run on Disney and caffeine, um, hoodie not hoodie but like sweater sweatshirt um and yeah so like they I, I guess they kind of do like a food themed um line every year so this is the one for this year um and I just think everything from it is super adorable um and the really adorable about thing about this um pin here is that this ice cream here looks like Pluto so you have Pluto Mickey or Minnie and Mickey sorry so yeah super excited about this pin set it'll go great with my little Mickey Minnie icon food collection um, and yeah, and then the other things that I got were three of the VHS mystery boxes, which you have seen me open in another, or will see me open in another video. Okay, up next are my purchases from Shop Disney. Um, I also placed an order on Shop Disney, um, just because there were some things that I couldn't find in my Disney store. Um, my local Disney store has a pretty wide selection, but there are a lot of things that they don't end up getting in stock, um, just because they're not, like, the busiest store in the area. Um, so... I did go online looking for some things um, and I found a couple of things that I wasn't totally intending on getting um, but you know whatever they were on sale so I went for it. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you guys is something I'm super excited about and I've been wanting one of these for a very long time um, and I figured that I might as well just go for it before they're totally sold out um, and that is a flannel from the brand Cakeworthy. 
um, and this is from their Frozen collection, as I am sure the Olaf um, on the pocket here gives away. So here is the adorable tag. And then it has Elsa stitched into the collar because um, this flannel is based off of Elsa. Um, and then it's just like a purple and blue flannel. Um, and then it says, let it go on the back. Up um, next is something that I actually ordered that was already um, on sale, um, that had been part of their like twice upon a year sale. Um, and then I was able to get the additional 25% off with the friends and family on it. Um, so I picked it up with the intent of using it as a Halloween decoration for next Halloween. And that is the clown from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Because um, I have most of the little like side characters of Nightmare Before Christmas characters that they've made. I have Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I have uh, Vampire Teddy and I have Oogie Boogie. Um, so I just don't have a Jack and Sally and I don't really have like an actual like big plush zero. But Jack and Sally are like huge and I don't really have a spot for them. And I'm more obsessed with like the main side, like the little side characters anyway. Um, so I use them as Halloween decorations. So while he was on sale and super cheap, I picked him up. Um, and I'm so excited for Halloween this year to be able to use him. Next is something that is actually going to be for my mom, unless she doesn't want it, then I will gladly take it off of her hands. Um, but it is the Cinderella 70th anniversary, um, Disney Visa card holder exclusive pin. Um, I believe I've mentioned on the channel before that my mom is a huge Cinderella fan. It is her favorite, um, Disney movie and came out like shortly before she was born. Um, so that was kind of the princess that she grew up with in her childhood. Um, so yeah, Cinderella holds a special place in her heart and my heart as a result. Um, so I had to pick up this, um, 70th anniversary pin. I was trying to get, there was another one that they released on Shop Disney, um, but it literally sold out like as soon as I saw a post from Disney Pins Vlog about it. Um, so I decided to just go with this one instead, but this is still a gorgeous pin. You have a Cinderella there dancing with Prince Charming and you have the clock tower striking midnight, um, in the background. Um, and then it's just on this beautiful blue background. Um, and then the pin is rose gold. Um, and then on the back of the pin here, you can see that it is a beautiful rose gold color. Um, and yeah, I am just so excited about it. It's so cute and I hope that my mom really enjoys it. Okay, and the last things that I got were some wishables. Um, if this one doesn't give it away, I bought the Theme Park Icons wishable set. Um, I bought the Cinderella Castle, which was um, one of the like open ones, open edition ones. Um, so they had this one and Sleeping Beauty Castle. I decided to just go with Cinderella Castle um, since so far I have only been to Disney World. That is, I guess, my home park, you could say. Um, so I got a Cinderella Castle. And then we got four four bags of the Park Icon Wishables. So stay tuned for an unbagging of these in the future. Okay, and that is all that I have for you guys for today for this Disney store and shop Disney haul. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite item from this haul was. Um, did you guys shop the Disney friends and family sale? If so, what did you buy? Um, I would love to hear about it down below. Are you collecting the Disney Parks Icons Wishables? Um, which ones do you have? Which ones are you hoping for? Um, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to have a conversation with you guys about those questions and anything and everything else you guys want to talk about. Um, I, if you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And again, if you like this video and you would like to see more and get stuck in the upside down again with me sometime, um, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you have a magical day. Bye.